Okay, so uh, here we are at the back of the car. This is the high voltage battery pack. So my two cables are coming in here, coming out of here. So that's the hump underneath the seats of the back car, uh, back seats. These are the uh, brake cables. So the wires come in here. Now you can see this bracket here. This holds a big plastic um, pen and it actually comes down almost as far as here. It goes to the back. So there's a lot of space here. I don't know. They could have made use of this space. Either put a spare tire or make the trunk a lot bigger. Anyway, so here's the two cables come in to my, I guess, sort of my electrical box here that I've mounted underneath. So these two things are uh, fuses, so they're, uh, they each uh, contain a fuse, so they're both positive and negative are fused. And then, so the power comes in, well, the power, the, these are connections that I've done into the front. And these, you're probably wondering what these are. There's, they're actually booster cables. So this is a six gauge. Um, as I mentioned earlier, these are four gauge, uh, which is probably overkill. I was wanting to buy six, but I ended up getting four. Both positive and negative are connected to a relay, to each the relays. So until these relays are activated, there's no power coming out here. So yes, this is live when the car is on, but that stops at the relays until they're switched on. So these are 12 volt relays. These are wired here. So they go up into the trunk. So until these are activated with 12 volts, nothing happens. Once they're act uh, the relays are activated, so these are the booster cables, six gauge, they're uh, lots of copper in there, which is good. So here again, there's a uh, set showing that there's no modifications to the car. This is a hole that was already there with a rubber grommet. Um, there was nothing, I don't know why it's there, but there was nothing coming through there. Uh, you can see there's a green wire here that's used for my tail lights. So the, I have a trailer kit on it, on the car. So I do tow with the car. So now I'll show you uh, what it looks like in the trunk. Okay, so here, this is what I've got right now in the trunk. It's, uh, I still have to put some kind of connectors that, on the end that'll connect into my eventual battery pack. For now, this is the, 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 the leads that go to the um, my electrical box underneath to, to activate the relays. So I'm just going to use this uh, three cells in series, which uh, equals, well, four times three is 12. So that's about 12 volts. So connecting this to here will activate the relays. And um, I put uh, some probes here and then you'll be able to see right now there's obviously no voltage. So we're gonna go and uh, turn the car on and uh, see if this works. That sounds good. So the car is on, and if I look at here, I still don't have any readings, that means there's no power, that's, that's as it should be. If I connect this up, as you can hear, you hit click, and now I got 368 volts. So that works. So once I have a battery pack in here connected to there, they'd be connected in parallel. So I just have to match the voltage and uh, we're good to go. Now, what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna make a small pack uh, just to test it before I make a big pack. So the battery pack I'm building right now, um, I'll show you a little later, is uh, 96 in the series, two in parallel. So if this works, then uh, I'll expand on the battery pack and uh, we should be able to increase the range quite a bit, but uh, we'll see how that goes. Until later.